camel toe. Could they be any more confusing? Featuring music from the guy at the mall. I'm going to a crack party. I get to stay home this weekend, but I'll find something fun to do. Good for you, Terry. Loser girl. Don't worry about us, Miss Kingsley. We'll be all right. Our school's starting a danger dodger club. A what? This is Miss Karen Kingsley. I have a deep voice for a girl. A successful freelance architect who still finds time to serve the children of her community as a volunteer crossing guard. And also loves low cost auto insurance. Kind of woman. Perhaps more special than you can imagine. You learn a lot. Yeah. Well, I hope you have fun on your weekend. Oh, okay. you be careful now. Okay. okay. Well, bye bye. Bye. Don't share needles. I'm Vincent Price. It was less than a year ago. Karen was returning from a visit to her favorite Aunt Margaret in the small town. How many Aunt Margarets does she have? It was here that something took place which gave her extraordinary powers. The power of Christ compels you. The new 1977 Chrysler, available in brown, also comes in X-ray vision, standard. Diarrhea is like a storm raging inside of you. Blew their entire budget on the sound effect right here. Stop termites in their tracks. Don't be so linear, Jean-Luc. That's a crabby name. And that is how Karen Kingsley became Safety Woman. Hi, I'm the narrator. I've been gone a while, but I'm back. Safety woman, really kind of a slack power when you think about it. Not that impressive. There it is. 
ready for an afternoon of interracial homoeroticism. What are these? Oh, they're for kids. Are you ready to shove off? All right. Are you ready? Yep. Say I'm ready, ready Cracker. The Dodger Danger Club's first tour of duty into Viet Cong territory. It's the uh, annual Danger Dodger interracial homoerotic boat adventure. Damn, Cracker ain't gonna row the boat. Shit. fell in the water. Lindy, help! Help! The boat's drifting away! Help! Help! Save me! Help! Save me! Help! Help! Save me! Nice hip action there. Magic butt plug. From a qualified that doesn't look like swim lessons. You. And stay in shallow water until you know how to swim. An entire pool of children drowning. Avoid running and horseplay around pools. Learn and practice life-saving and rescue breathing. Never go swimming or boating when you're tired. Don't swim when overheated or right after eating. Onion rings. Never dive into water unless you know beforehand how deep the water is, because obstacles may lie hidden below the surface. Never swim or boat in an area where there's no one around to help you, and never go boating without a life jacket on. Boy, we really goofed. Yeah, we were dumb. No, boys, you just made a mistake. One I don't think you'll ever make again. Yeah. When we get out of doors, we feel free. But we're never free of the dangers around us. We've always got to stay alert. There was a hiker here last week, for example. Who was eaten by a pack of he lions. He came prepared. He had on good hiking shoes. He had John Madden strapped to his a back. a bike kit and a canteen of water. He had a jacket in his pack in case he got cold. An emergency snack and even a map of the area. But he made a mistake. A deadly mistake. He broke the first rule of safe hiking. Never hike alone. Whenever you hike, tell a responsible person where you're going. He decided to do a little climbing. He decided to tell his shitty roommate, Dave. Like so many other hikers who were injured, he went beyond his limits. He called for help. Since he was alone, no one could hear him. Help! I can't Help! hear you. Help! Wow! Mrs. Mrs. Flavor Flav with that safety. shield there. Yes, but even safety women can't be everywhere. That's why everyone must practice safety. Safety? Hey, 
Zip, can I ride your baby bike around the block once? No way, Terry. Kids our age, they're not allowed to ride around on the block. It's illegal for kids our age to be riding around on the streets. Then where are you going to ride it, huh? Well, after I get it adjusted, my dad and I are going to go up to Uncle Jack's ranch. And up there is private property, so it's okay for us to ride it. Take me with you. I'll ask your dad. He'll let me. Wrong again. He wouldn't even let you get on it without the proper equipment. What equipment? Over there. The equipment I just pointed to. Can't Boots. burn a church without a can Boots. of gas. Leather jacket? Helmet? You must fall down a lot, huh? Even the best riders take spills, Terry. That's why they all come prepared. No one should ride a mini bike who isn't wearing the proper helmet and clothing. Jack, come on. No, you can't ride it. You're no fun. Keep your old mini bike. Don't ask to borrow my skateboard, Jeff. Oh, darn. I guess I'll have to ride my dirt bike. I must leave. Oh, I look real disappointed after I ride the skateboard. Are they going to reverse the film again? Nah, not going to be. Fat kid on a skateboard. Guardiana, you saved me. Yes, Terry, but that was too close. And our town does have a paved area set aside for skateboarding. And if I'm not mistaken, it's only four blocks from where we're standing right now. Here, you won't be in danger from cars. And you won't endanger pedestrians. Helmets and pads are required, so everyone can have fun without the risk of serious injury. Boy, Terry, you almost blew it, but good that time. By this much, if Guardiana had... Now, Jeff. Terry just forgot that sometimes the only way to avoid danger is to stay away from the places where danger is at. An abandoned car might look like fun. And it is. Jagged edges, broken glass. Yeah, I can party my ass dangerous. off in an abandoned Bell car. Trouble. What other places should we stay away from, Jeff? The railroad track. Good, Jeff. What else? Power lines. Durr, I'm 50 right. feet up a power line. Can you think of some, Terry? Places where they're building new houses and things. A new Starbucks might look like fun, but it's a death what trap. Else? Or dirty old vacant lots like on Peach Street. Or a nuclear That's missile right. silo. Being alert means staying away from those places. Every town has parks and playgrounds and places where you can have fun safely. You see, Terry, here you can have fun and not have to worry about traffic. Unless you like playing in traffic. My problem is I keep forgetting important things, like being alert. Now well, we all forget, Terry. It takes practice to keep aware and alert, and there are lots of new dangers that we have to look out for, too. That's why schools have safety clubs like the Danger Dodgers. Then maybe I should join one while I'm still in one piece. Terry, you're going to be all right. Danger Dodgers, I salute you. Up yours. Go to hell. We won't forget, safety woman. Aware, alert, alive. Ah. Hey, Miss Kingsley. You'll never guess what happened last Saturday. Oh, really? Oh, well, like really? Oh, really? I want to be so sure about that, boys. Hmm. Be sure to pick up a copy of this CD at the mall. Ah, Susan Valdez. As Safety Woman. I googled this woman and she doesn't exist, no other film credits whatsoever.